Hello, my name is Rita Grimes, and welcome to Crafts Around the House from the Cumberland County Public Library. Today, we will be doing bone cozies. Great! Well, you know it's getting cold, and you need something when you heat up that soup or have that hot bowl of soup, you won't burn your hands. Or, I like to eat ice cream in the winter. We don't want our hands getting extra cold. So, you can make them where your hands won't get extra cold. Just something to insulate the bowl, whether it's hot or cold. So let's get started. The materials that you'll need is a fat quarter, needles, 100% cotton thread, the pattern, some spray adhesive, that's optional, some clips, some type of object to um, that's long and pokey. 100% natural cotton batting. And some scissors. Okay, so I've taken the liberty of going ahead and cutting out two. You would need two of each. Now I will need two pieces of batting and it already had a fold for, from where it was folded when I bought it. And I just cut on that fold, I laid a pattern. You lay this side on the fold and I just bring it up and I just cut right there And to make sure it's not gonna move, let me go ahead and clip that in. And I just cut me a nice little square. Again, I go ahead and trim it and even it up. And then you make yourself two of these. Okay, now that we got our fabric nice, um, and lined up like it's supposed to. What I do is go ahead and clip my fabric and my batting together so it won't slide around. And the first thing that you want to sew is you want to sew here and here. Okay? And here we go. We're gonna start from this end. Remember, we're going to go here and then here. You can take and measure it out and draw a line and do it that way, but I choose not to do it that way. You see, I went all the way across and you notice it's not straight, so don't judge me. <laughs> And um, I didn't go all the way to the ends because we're going to snip those little ends off. And, um, but that's, that's way later on. I'll, I'll tell you about that. Now, remember, I only sew one, but you will be sewing two there and here. You'll be sewing here and here. After that, you will flip it just like this, and you will sew these. Make sure and line them up. Put them together. And when you get to the very end, you do that same thing, you loop it. See, I, I'm on this side, I come around, bring it around, and I push it back to that side to secure it. Now we're gonna cut this. 
Now remember, you're gonna do all, you're gonna do this one, you're gonna do this one, and then when you finish, you're going to open it up and you're going to do it like this and you're gonna do these two. You see how it has that? When you do that, we are going to come here. We're not gonna cut the thread. We're just gonna trim it closer so we don't have as much fabric. See how that's closer? As you can see, I made a couple of mistakes. So like I say, mistakes are okay. So right now I have start coming around sewing and I wanted to make sure that you guys knew exactly what I was doing. And I'm getting to the point where I really want you guys to see that I'm coming up on this pointy part. All the way through and then at that same point I put it in right there to kind of reinforce it and I start down sewing along the other edge. Now, I have these clips holding the, I, hold, I have one held to one side and one held to the other side so that it won't be so bulky when you sew. Of course, I only put those clips there to give myself a reminder. And let's see here. Okay, let's flip it. And this is where you need your little pointy stick. It's after you flip it. After you flip it, get your pointy stick out, stick it in there, and all them little places, and all the little places. This is what it'll look like, friends. Get it ironed up. Now we have to sew this part. What we do is tuck this in. And now we have a lovely bowl cozy. Remember to use a 100% cotton fabric, 100% cotton thread, and 100% cotton batting. Because if not, it will not hold up in the microwave. But if you decide to not use 100% cotton, you could always use it for your ice cream, like this one. And if you like this craft and any others, you can always go to our website at cumberlandcountync.gov backslash library or call us at 910-483-7727. Have a great day.